when most people want to go to a hotel, they call the hotel. They say, I would like to come to your hotel, please. And the hotel says, if you want to come to our hotel, you must pay us. What is your credit card information? Then once you give them your credit card information to pay, you're allowed to go to their hotel. That's how ordinary people do it. But tonight, something happened. I became extraordinary, extraordinary, because the hotel called me. They said, we would like for you to come to our hotel, please. I said, if you want me to come to your hotel, you must pay me. What is your credit card information? They gave it to me. This hotel is a three-star hotel. That's nice. It has a continental breakfast. It has a fitness center. It has an indoor heated swimming pool with a snake in it. Somebody saw a snake in the pool. They've closed the pool, locked the door. They're monitoring the snake on the security cameras until I can get there and remove the snake. Let's go to the hotel. <laughs> So he was where now? Right here inside the pool. Okay. Right, right on that wall right here. Okay. Inside the pool. So he may be hiding somewhere in there. He may be in the skimmer. In what? The little skimmer area over there. This is a skim right here too. Is that the open? The open yeah, this little thing here. Oh, yeah, that's what Maybe he's in here. Let's see. Nope. Not in there. Yeah, depending on what it is, we'll see what kind of snake it is first. No? Right in there. Here he is. I found him. Where did he come from? <laughs> that little fella. <laughs> he looked a lot bigger on that security camera, huh? Nobody. <laughs> Little garter snake. Garter, G A R T E R, and he uh they like to swim and look for fish and toads, frogs, but they're they're harmless. Unless they're in a hotel swimming pool. <laughs> got the snake out of the pool and I think there's a place right here near the hotel where we can turn him loose. 
I don't want to put him just anywhere. This snake just peed on the middle console. God damn it. Uh, there's a little pond right over here. We can turn him loose near there. And there he can catch fish, frogs, toads, his favorite foods. So right here behind me is a perfect little spot for the snake. This little garter snake um, is, that's a, it's a non-venomous snake. But he does kind of have some toxins to where if this snake were to bite you, and you let him hang on to you and really chew and get his teeth into you and let his saliva kind of get into your hand really good, he can actually cause a reaction. And uh, he gets enough of his saliva and those toxins into your hand, sometimes it can be a lot uh, more than you think from a little garter snake. Um, but because they're really harmless to us, we don't consider them to be a venomous snake. And those toxins are mainly to help subdue, subdue their prey of, you know, frogs, toads, fish, that kind of thing. So those toxins are really effective when it comes to those little animals. But this little guy, a really cute little snake, um, and he's called a garter snake because he has a stripe running up his body. And it kind of looks like a woman's garter. That's where the name garter snake actually comes from. Really cool little guy. And he's going to get bigger than this. Not a lot bigger. These are not really, really big, really big snakes. But we're going to turn him loose right here. And I think he'll be very happy. Better than the hotel pool. I promise you that.